it's time to talk about a Kickstarter with an impending deadline. Hello everyone and welcome to Married with Comics. I'm your host, Laura. As many of you know, we are growing closer and closer to our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which if you are subscribed to the channel and commenting on videos, you are entered into a chance to win a slab and a Married with Comics bookmark. We appreciate everyone's support. Now we've talked about Kickstarters, but this one is definitely special. So this is Vampire Hunter D Message from Mars. Now I mentioned a deadline and I'm going to start right there because if you pay attention to nothing else, I want you to hear this message. Vampire Hunter D Message from Mars is currently on Kickstarter. It was fully funded in under 90 minutes. It's almost at $400,000 very successful Kickstarter. And why? Because this is an exclusive comic book. This is the first time that this comic book adaptation is being released in English, and it is the only way that you can get this book. So no, there is no retail edition, special edition. As of Saturday, February 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this Kickstarter will end. So you need to move fast and seriously consider backing this Kickstarter. Vampire Hunter D has been around since about 1983. It was originally written by Hideyuki Kikuchi and illustrated by Yoshitaka Amano. Since it began, it now has about 31 novels that span over about 44 volumes, but it wasn't until 2005 that we started getting English translations. So as of 2020, we now have about 24 novels that span over 29 volumes. Now, this, of course, is one of the short stories that was originally released, of course, in Japan as an audiobook, but has never kind of reached a wide release and certainly has never been translated into English. Now, Message from Mars was adapted by veteran comic and screenwriter Brandon Easton, and the visual development was done by Christopher Shai. The artwork, which is absolutely stunning, was done by Ryan Benjamin and Inc. done by Richard Friend. Now, the most important question that many of you are asking is, do I need to know all of that Vampire D lore to be able to appreciate the storyline? And that's why I wanted to review it. Now, I'm vaguely familiar with Vampire Hunter D, but I have not passionately followed these books, the audio drama, and certainly not the anime. So when I read this book, I was coming into it with fresh eyes. And I will say that this is actually a standalone storyline. You start with your characters that are certainly developed. Yes, there are some recurring characters such as D and Left Hand, but overall, everything in it, all the action that takes place is self-contained. So if you don't know anything about D other than he's a vampire hunter and he looks pretty cool, you can still follow the storyline and get into the characters and get into the storyline. I didn't feel lost with the amount of kind of lore and storyline that I know is in the rest of the series. I didn't feel like I was missing anything. I immediately just felt transported because of the artwork and because of the haunting nature of this story. So what's it about? Now, our main character is Cecile. And Cecile has an incredible gift of prophecy. And she sees this vision of her and Dee meeting and one specific event taking place. And she knows in the past that she's never been able to stop her prophecies. So she reaches out to Dee to tell him of this prophecy and how much she looks forward to meeting him. And there's a very haunting nature about her because she does see these images and it affects every single one of her relationships because she will see the good and the bad things that are going to happen to them. And I felt how haunted she was as a character. I, originally when I read the prediction and what was about to take place, and no, I will not spoil that, I was a little surprised. I was like, you can't release that in, you know, issue number one when we know it may come to pass in issue number five. For this story, it was all about the journey because you wanted to know how this prediction affected this character of Cecile. 
how it affected the other characters because she's now acting differently because she knows what's going to happen. So then how do other people react to it? Then you have Dee kind of coming into this whole storyline. And then there's just this little part of you that's like, that wonders, what if this could be the prediction that doesn't come to pass? So you're left with a lot of great questions and you're sitting there wondering and watching as all these little events start unfolding. And it's very, very beautifully written. When the final issue happens and we get to our conclusion, I was always concerned that this was going to just have a very abrupt ending or we were going to have one of those obnoxious cliffhangers that says, oh, by the way, read the rest of Vampire Hunter D. And it didn't. Instead, it did conclude our little short story, but it left it in a way that I didn't feel disappointed. I do actually look forward to rereading this book. And it did give me enough inspiration to read more of Vampire Hunter D, but I didn't immediately feel like I have to just to get my questions answered, which I certainly appreciate. Now, the question that everyone wants to know about is the Kickstarter. So I told you it had past $100,000. They are almost at $400,000 funding. Now, the book that I have is the preview edition. And as you can see, it is still a significant book. It is the five issue comic, but there is no bonus content at the end of this. Now, if you back the Kickstarter and you get the collector's edition or the oversized collector's edition, your book is going to be 200 pages long. So definitely expect this to be a more significant sized book. The bonus content in the end is going to include some making of artwork. So it will be pencils, inks, and development art. You're going to have the original comic script and it should be absolutely incredible. That was definitely one of the things that I wish I would have had in my little preview edition, but definitely understand why they did not include it. As some of the stretch goals, what they've included is if you received that collector's edition, or the oversized collector's edition. You're going to get a reversible dust jacket. You're going to get a special custom box for your book. And they of course have the single issues of this five comic book series that are available with different varying covers. So if you just get the book, you get an art print of each one of those covers, which the covers are absolutely stunning. Now, if they reach the goal of $400,000, they're going to have six different artists create their variant covers and you as backers get to pick the three art prints that will be included in your set. Pretty incredible stuff. Overall, I would say this is a story that I highly recommend, even if you just enjoy the artwork. This is a thicker size paper so that way the art just seriously pops. And the storyline, yes, it's haunting, but there's a sense of how these characters are built that makes me immediately want to start reading Vampire Hunter D. Because if you can develop a character within a short story like this, then I can't wait to see what you can do over a full series arc. If you want to back the Kickstarter, all the information is down in the description box. Let me know if you backed it, if you checked it out. And I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.